everyone. We are back to do our downtown Asheville test here. Just finished our uh, blind turn test. You should go check out that video if you haven't already. This will be a right blind turn right here. And we'll see if it gets into an appropriate lane. The right lane is the most appropriate. The left lane is acceptable for where we're going, but it really should get in the right lane. No traffic coming, it is a green light. I'm gonna go ahead and tell, tell it to go through so I don't have to wait at this light. Um, it almost crossed through lanes um, all the way through. It needs to, once it passes this light, uh, if you can tell, there is a left only turn lane um, past the light. So we need to get in the right turn lane before it messes up. And now, now that there's traffic coming, we really have to get in the right turn lane. This is why you should get in your lane before you have to change lanes. This car is going past us. Let this car go past us. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to turn, get over because it, it like it's inappropriate to turn the light blinker on any later than that. So definitely should have done that. It's still trying to stop going through yield signs. This was smoother going through the roundabout. I like that. But again, it still tried to stop going through to the yield sign. We have several more roundabouts on our new Belgian test to go through. So we'll see if that's an improvement. But uh, yeah, uh, it's making this turn really wide. Not that it's really not inappropriate. Let's see if it gets out of this lane. I had to reroute us right there. No, I'm not gonna count that just because oh, this person is texting. Okay, not paying attention. I'm not gonna count the one with the Jeep. I, I, it's not meant to get out of parking spots. It's clearly doing this when it shouldn't be. The last update actually prevented it from doing that. Uh, I did not drive through the parking spaces. This one is. We have a one-way road that only goes to the right. Um, we have a car parked here and a person in the road. That is uh, gonna make it more difficult to see. And that worked out great. It needs to stay further to the left here, and it does to get into this left turn lane. Ever since they repainted these lines, it's done this. It's done this lane great. Um, what? Okay. That was a disengagement because um, I was keeping. It shouldn't have tried to turn. It's trying to run a red light. Nice. It tried to run the red light. Okay. So maybe this isn't going to be too great, great on this one. I've been happy with 10.6 so far. I've been really happy with it. Uh, but perhaps downtown Asheville is uh, going to have some problems. We'll see how the rest of it goes. So it should go ahead and get in the middle lane here. I'm going to tell it to do that. Get around the bus. That was a disengagement because it got out of the wrong lane right there. I mean, it got out of, well, that is incorrect. So yeah, this version is much worse. We need to go straight, not a right turn. It even jogs left. This is the issue we had pre in previous updates. I have no idea why it does that. It turns on the right blinker when you're making a left turn. The logic is not sound at all. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense how it's learned that. Unless, again, humans probably turn on the wrong blinker. I mean, there's a lot of dyslexic people. I mean, uh, I'm probably one of them, to be honest. Um, and it just turns on the wrong blinker. You turn on the right blinker for a left turn, it makes no sense.
Okay. Let's see if it stays in the correct lane this time. Every time, not one update, not one update has ever gotten in the correct lane right here. And it keeps on trying, the previous updates would try and get back over in that lane. Not one update has ever done that right. And I don't understand why. The lane lines are clear. And it just doesn't need to get in the left lane. It's so close to its right turn. And it is a right only turn lane that it has to be in on the right lane. You can't turn from the left unlike what human pilot says you can do. Um, you have to turn from the right lane. And it always gets in the left only turn lane for some reason. Okay, um, I'm gonna count that because this SUV is very close to me. I need to really get one of those stickers that say, that say I'm testing autonomous driving vehicle. Every time it turns on the right turn signal here for some reason, it makes no sense. Especially like I'm looking I like look like an idiot. I'm like, why is he turning on his turn signal around here? Jesus, okay. There's a car behind me. I'm trying not to let my car let it rear in me. Okay. We're gonna correct its path right here. Clearly the car is very upset about how, how the cars are parked around here. Oddly close to the cone. Okay, we are good to go through. Very good right turn right there. Okay, so that was a disengage. The one before was not a disengagement. I don't understand why, why he keeps on doing this. We're going to get behind this mail truck here and plan our new Belgium route. Because, um, yeah, um, not good. Not good at all. I, I don't, uh, I'm not a fan of, for that, downtown Nashville test did not do well. Um, same mistakes as before, nothing got better. If anything, it, everything got worse. Um, I don't see, maybe the roundabout was slightly better, that was it. Everything else was worse. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prep us for the new Belgium test, but if you guys have questions, I will glad to see you down below. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tagging along. Bye.